What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. We're getting into uh, spring, so hopefully get the bikes out here pretty soon. So I wanted to check this out. It's a bike light from Thorfire, and I've had a variety of Thorfire products on the channel before. They are always um, a premium product, and so I was pretty excited about checking out a bike light from them. You know, and I've checked out that other one, which was fantastic. So I thought, why not hook up the other bike with a bike light and not do the same one so that we can kind of compare and contrast. And here is the light itself. Man, this thing feels like a portable power pack. I mean, I will say this is a solid, I don't know if this is extruded aluminum housing. It is pretty heavy. I mean, this is pretty massive. Uh, it's cold right now. I mean, this is all aluminum. Uh, I feel like I could beat down a door with this thing. We obviously have that sliding rail here. It looks like we should be able to take it on and off the clip that goes on the bike. We have two LEDs right there. Underneath looks like some sort of liquid metal or um, alloy housing. A uh, little rubber gasket here, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be weather resistant. And then we have some controls on the back. Looks like a micro USB port under this cap. I like that they're uh, heavy silicone. And then it looks like maybe this is the button for turning it on and off. Let's also look at some of the other accessories. So we have a clip here with a big rubber spacer in it. So this is for clipping to your bike handle like this. So your bike handle will go through here. And then you would clip on the Thor light like this. So you'd slide it in there. And then that little tab right here would lock it in. And that's how you unlock it. And then we also have micro USB cable for charging it up then we also have um, this clamp which looks like also would go onto a bike handle like this and you would I think install it here just like this yeah and then we have another little press clip that would lock it in place so I think I'm putting it in backwards so I think you'd have to do it this way so it slides in the front and then it would clip in the back okay and then we also have here are the two screws that would tighten this down to your handle. So you have a number of ways to, you have really two clips to attach it to your handlebars. This would probably be more for centering it on a long straight bar. If you have kind of an angled bar or one with a lot of twists, you'd probably want to use the single. And then here is the manual for it. And I'm going to quick review it and we'll test it out. All right, got the light charged up here and it uh, these things light up, these little three little dots light up when it's plugged in. And so I'll just hit the power button and it goes on. And man, thing is wicked bright. Right off the bat, I can tell you that is just a bright white light. Not a warm white, just serious bright white. So if I hit it again, uh, it goes up to a higher level and then a third level is the highest. And so if I tap it, uh, it's gonna go off. Looks like you have to scroll through all the levels to get back to the point where you can turn it off. So now let's go outside and see what it looks like in the dark. All right outside in the dark here, and I have the light right here. Obviously it's not attached to a bike, but what I just want to kind of demonstrate is the throw of the light because once you have this attached to the front of the bike, you know, that's going to be important based on how fast you're going. So you're gonna want either more or less uh, real estate in front of you lit up because if you're going really fast, you're gonna need you know, a safe amount of distance to stop and bike and see and avoid things. So let's go ahead and just power it on here. And even though there's a pretty decent amount of light from my other ambient light sources out here, I can just tell you this thing is bright and probably maybe if I pull it down here a little bit, I can kind of show you that, you know, I've got this circled lit up where it's really focused but but my foot is lit up even over here and that's kind of a pretty big you know wide beam that's getting lit up with obviously the focal point being right in front now if i hit the next level and i will show you the back of the light so you can see that the power button or the mode button is lit up by these other lights so if i hit it now and go up to the next level again very bright and if we look out here lots of real estate lit up even on the second mode on the second level here and then if i hit it one more time we go up to that bright mode man i mean that goes way way out there so i could feel really safe about basically biking going down the street having just a ton of light lit up in fact what i will say is if you have oncoming car cars or something like that this could be a really bright light if it's not pointed down kind of on the road because I think getting this light in your face would not be <laughs> ideal. So, man, this thing is freaking bright. And what I really, really love about it 
is that it's removable off of your bike. So let's say you're somewhere where you want to kind of navigate a um, an alley or a parking lot or something like that after you've chained up your bike you can just remove quick remove it and use this as a really really bright flashlight and so if we go here that fourth mode is off and then even on the lowest setting and that is that is a really really bright light um, you can see the trees beyond the tree that's right in front of me there and those are pretty decently out there and if I go up to the next modes you can just see how bright that really gets so pretty awesome i like it put a link to it in the description peter von panned out